The Pinpoint weather coverage continues as we track winter weather heading our way tomorrow. And you tonight, we're checking in with one of the more popular places to see what you'll find if you're still looking for supplies. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo continues our Pinpoint weather team coverage from Barrington now. There hasn't been much need to prep for winter storms so far this season, but a local hardware store thinks that may change a little tonight. Only 7.9 inches of snow has fallen in the Providence area this year, and most of that was in November. One winter storm that we had, was, it got really cold about a month ago. Uh, you know, that was probably the only push that we've had on ice melt this year. Jared Gutierrez, the manager of Ace Hardware in Barrington, said the sale of storm supplies has been very slow this year. We get the people that come in early in the season and are prepared, and you know everybody else tends to wait till the last minute to come in and get their salt and uh, snow shovels. Some years it's difficult to find ice melt. Not this year. Store shelves are fully stocked with salt, shovels, and snow brushes. Probably still thousands of pounds of ice melt. Uh, pallets in reserve, shovels in reserve. With the latest round of snow and ice on the way, Gutierrez said they are more than ready to help their customers here. With any storm that hits, you know, we always get a little bit of push when it comes to selling uh, shovels and salt and, and any other winter goods, windshield wash, you know, heating accessories. Personally, he doesn't mind the quiet winter, but Gutierrez knows a busy winter would be better for business. I mean, we have seen mild winters in the past, but I mean, we all know how New England is and how things can change overnight. And ironically, with this near snowless winter, I saw one customer walk out with a bag of barbecue charcoal. I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tony. And with this storm expected to make the evening commute messy tomorrow, we checked in with RIDOT to see what they're doing to get ready. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo continues our pinpoint weather team coverage with that. An average winter season should have almost two feet of snow at this point. We haven't even gotten eight inches of snow. That'll change a little bit tomorrow. And while we're not expecting a big storm, the timing is not great. Idle snow plows on this day, but they'll be out on the roads Tuesday afternoon. While it's not a major storm because of its timing with the evening commute, um, you know, it, it has uh, it may impact uh, your ride homes. Sometimes the smaller storms create the biggest problem. Still, Robert Rocchio of the Rhode Island DOT said they're ready. 130 ride up vehicles ready to go, as well as up to 400 um, vendor plow trucks available as well. While there haven't been a lot of snowstorms this year, there have been some icing events. Rocchio said they have been using salt and sand, but less than in most years. Uh, we have about 50,000 tons of salt and we uh, probably 10 10,000 uh, tons of sand available and other uh, chemical mixes we use for bridge specialized that we use for bridges. Fewer winter storms means a savings in labor materials and wear and tear on vehicles. Although it won't be a blockbuster storm again it's bad timing and road crews will be out. We do ask that uh, people plan accordingly uh, leave early uh, plan to be laid uh, we also ask that you don't um, crowd the plow. Some schools have already announced early dismissals for Tuesday. Be sure to check out all of the dismissals and closings on WPRI.com. I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.